When a top dasher tells you I make bank, it is a lie. No matter how much they gross, their profit margin is severely compromised. They lack understanding of miles and time. They also destroy their own zones without understanding why. Then blame it on oversaturation. When every zone has been oversaturated for years, they stunt the algorithm from adding base pay to declined lowball offers for subsequent drivers in the zone. Ask them to prove their per mile rate and they avoid the answer like the plague. Challenge accepted. Hell Week is the term the dashing community uses to describe the last few days of the month where you aim to raise your stats to qualify for Top Dasher for the following month. If you've been listening to one side, you've heard that Top Dashers are clowns, that they're running their car into the ground, that they're taking all the $2 for 10 mile orders and not making any money, say the cherry pickers whining about not getting any good orders, but that's another video. Now while that may be true in some markets, it doesn't always have to be. I've developed a strategy for Hell Week that raises my stats to qualify for Top Dasher while still raking in a profit. In this video, I'm going to be showing you day by day what I did for the last week of March to make $1,000 in 43 hours during Hell Week. Alright, so it is Monday and it is 1040. Video should have started at 10, but took like 40 minutes to get into the Dasher app. What do you know, gone for an entire week and then the Dasher app doesn't work. How about that? Half an hour of just encountering a loading screen and just uninstalling, reinstalling the app, restarting my phone twice. And what do you know, just as soon as I call support, they can't find my account. But as soon as I call support, Dasher app finally finishes loading and takes me through their new bullcrap identity verification. So yes, we are starting 40 minutes late because Tony is too money hungry to fix his stupid app. So yeah, those of you who think I'm a DoorDash employee, go sit in some poison ivy, okay? Anyway, last day of the week, so we're going to try to maintain our stats. We've got AR at 54 and CR at 94. Got to kick those up a notch to hit top dasher for next month. So right now I'm doing door dashing earned by time to try to raise my acceptance rate. Okay, so yes, I had Uber Eats running during that whole 40 minutes and they sent me absolutely nothing. And DoorDash isn't wanting to send me anything either. So I got this shopping order to United for two items. And what do you know, as soon as I accept it, of course, of course DoorDash sends me this. Oh uh, yeah, it's torn, tossed up. But by the time I could make a decision, the timer ran out. So I've got this Uber Eats order and my DoorDash is paused. Yeah, not a good start to the week at all. Wonderful welcome back. And I'm just now realizing I forgot my GoPro, so already not my day. So I've got this Uber Eats double stack. I am not dirty stacking it with the earn by time DoorDash order. I am completing the DoorDash order and once I do that, I'm gonna pause DoorDash and head back to Papa Tacho's to fulfill the Uber Eats orders. There you go. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Have a good one. that order it is 20 past two i'm gonna take a break right now and i'll see you guys for the dinner shift later that same evening all right we about ready to kick off the dinner shift i did run home real quick and got my gopro back thank goodness i've been feeling naked without this thing do not expect b-roll all right now i feel <laughs> let's get out there thank you alondra yeah. now nah, you're good have a good one Thanks, you too. There you go. Yes, sir. Have a good one. Thank you. All right, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Look at this. That is building number nine. That is building number two. And that is building number six. Whoever you are, whoever's responsible for that, man, get some help. Get off the drugs, man. There 
you are. Yes, ma'am. Have a good one. All right, guys, we were doing pretty well for a while, and then the order quality started going mediocre. We've got about 45 minutes left to make $19 if I want to hit my goal of 200 for today. Not sure about that, but crossing our fingers. I sat here for 15 minutes, and look what they send me. One half hour left, and that is a horrible drop-off. Let's hope they left a really nice tip, but... One item, not counting on it. So for Monday, I made $189.86 in nine hours and drove 113 miles for an hourly rate of $21.09 an hour and a dollar to mile ratio of $1.68 per mile. Not too bad considering the rough experiences we had today. The day was kind of like a golden Oreo cookie, sweet in the middle while nasty on the ends. Here we are for day two. It is Tuesday, so we only doing the dinner shift today. It's about five o'clock. We're about to turn it all on. Gonna continue doing earn by time for now and maybe even tomorrow. Wanna raise my acceptance rate as high as I can before the end of the week so I can consistently keep it above 70%. Still have a little wiggle room to decline some stuff when the last day of the month comes. All right, and here is our first order, Little Seizures. Doesn't look too bad, so let's make like this guy and swipe it. All right, lovely no-tip order to start off the evening with. And then after waiting a few minutes, look what we got next. Oh my word. Not gonna lie, I was very torn on this one. I mean, look at that awful drop off. That is going way out there. Almost used that as my one decline or just accept it and use one of my unassigned. So here's the thing, it's from Osaka, which people generally tip really well for. And I won't actually have to drive the full eight miles back. It's only a few miles away from Papa John's, so I think I'm gonna head in that direction. Once I complete this, I'm gonna go ahead and take this, see what happens. I may end up regretting this, but only one way to find out. Hey, I'm picking up a DoorDash for Alexi, and she's asking me to make sure the extra teriyaki sauce is in there. She says she paid extra for it. All right, thank you. All right, nice. $10 tipper making that $15.74. Not bad for the distance I had to drive. This guy's $50 double stack on Uber Eats. That is going like farther out of the zone than I've ever been, but I don't care. But I'm holding in my excitement because orders that huge, you know there's a good chance it's because they can't be fulfilled and Uber just keeps upping the price because drivers keep canceling it for whatever reason. So it turns out I was right. The restaurant was closed. So yes, unfortunately, those unicorns were mythical creatures. But I contacted support and I actually got $3 compensation for each of them. $48 less than I was supposed to make, but at least it's something I wasn't expecting to be compensated for both. I know by now not to get my hopes up on orders like that, especially Uber Eats. Anyway, we're proceeding with this DoorDash order from Sumo. Go. Thank you. Yes, sir. Have a good one. All right, so I missed the screenshot of the final payout on that last order, but I'll throw it up here from my order history. Not bad, and we've got this Uber Eats order taking me very close to home, so I'm going to end the night on that one. Ooh, boy. How are you doing that? Oh, the dining room closes at night. I hate to admit it, but... <laughs> I totally forgot about that. It's all right, this drive through ain't too bad. Is it no globes? Open. Oh, so come in through this door? Yeah. Why would you do that? You lock the front door and expect me to know the side door is open? In total, for a five-hour Tuesday dinner shift, we made $124.14 and drove 69.1 miles, leaving our rates at $24.82 per hour and $1.79 per mile. 
For anybody out there who thinks Tony sends good orders to YouTubers to make his company look good, you got a Judas Priest coming because Wednesday was absolute dog crap. Welcome ladies and gents to Dia Tres. For those of you who don't know Spanish, that means Dia Three. I uh, was gonna continue with Earn By Time, hasn't let me down yet this week. But it literally won't let me, it's, can you see that? It's locked. You try it, it says we've reached capacity. My acceptance rate is currently at 63%, but I'd rather it be 70 before I go on earn per order. Thankfully, we do have this Uber Eats banger right here. I'm gonna go knock that out real quick, and then I'll check back on DoorDash and decide where to go from there. All right, just dropped that off. Not sure if the GoPro caught it, but I was checking, and as soon as I picked up the order, earn by time was back on DoorDash. So we are on it now, waiting for an order. Oh boy. This is not good. Glad to be doing earn by time right now. I've been sitting in a spot for 10 minutes. DoorDash is sending me nothing. Finally, I get this one. Haven't been to Mulberry Cafe yet, so we'll see how that goes. Only about 17 bucks for the first hour. I tell you, Wednesday lunches suck so bad. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Have a good one. All right, so first decline of the day, this order right here to Starbucks. See how far south of the city limit that's going? Uh, I did not want to take that, so I went ahead and turned that down. Only to get this Papa John's order. Basically exactly the same. Can't win, can I? In fact, I bet you I would have gotten both if I just accepted the Starbucks order. I think I'm at the location, but I don't see the house number posted. Let me see, South County Road, 1207? Uh, 1200. 1200, not 1207? Nice, yep. The address in the app is 1207. All right, correct address is County Road 1200. He put 1207. How in, ugh. Get away from me. <laughs> Seriously, how in tarnation do you mess that up? On top of that 7.8 miles, another 1.6. Okay, never mind that. The stupid Google Maps I'm gonna turn on to private property to get there. So scrap what I just said about 1.6 miles, more like two full miles at least. So after putting the wrong address in the app, wasting 20 minutes of my life, putting two extra miles on my car, sending me down an unnecessary dirt road, and nearly getting my butt sued for almost squishing somebody's stray pup, this sweet man made up for my trouble by leaving me a whopping zero. $0 tip. Wow, dude. Wow. Not my day at all. Not my day at all. Later in the void. All right. Another 20 minutes later. Popeyes. Of all things. Tony ever going to give me something good? All right guys, please don't unsubscribe, but I actually accepted all three of these orders. Yes, including the 150 order, and the reason is it is 155 just before 2 p.m. So all three orders are gonna give me three points on Uber Pro, which I'm kind of behind in, to be honest with you. They're all from the same restaurant, and the additional mileage on the last two is practically nothing, so even if just a little bit, it'll help offset the dollars to mile damage those DoorDash orders have been doing me all day. But these orders take Take me to a nice area where I can find something to eat and take a needed break. For Mallory? Perfect. There you go. Yes, ma'am. All right, and with that, I'm gonna take a little break. Total so far is right here. Should be about 70 bucks or so. That's after four hours, so not too good of a day so far. But I'll see you guys again at about four. All right, we are back at quarter past four, and I have been waiting 15 minutes. They've given me nothing. I'm really tired of having to do this, but I think I'm gonna drive to a different spot and see if it gives me anything. Wow, Tony, 20 minutes and you give me this, nine miles. I almost took it, but I do not wanna go back down there today. So yeah, I declined it. And then they send me this one. Another non-tipper. 
Because why not? 48 minutes, I've made $5.50, plus two pennies I found on the ground. Is the day over yet? And this time I found 13 cents on the ground. It's the one thing I actually like about apartment complexes. So I'm just walking around, finding coins on the ground, while I wait for this clown to take me back to town. They're still trying to send me back to the south side. I'm just calling it a day, guys, I'm calling it. It's just one of those days that obviously wants to suck and just won't stop. I can't, I just gotta turn it off and relax before I lose my mind! I'm okay, guys, I'm okay. That was for content. I'll see you guys on day four. What are you waiting for? Get the camera out of my face! So in five and a half awful hours on Wednesday, we only made $89.54 and drove a whopping 66.3 miles for an hourly rate of only $16.28 per hour and $1.35 per mile. 